Okay, Mort, now if you want to get more customers in your pharmacy, you're going to have to do a promotion, like like buy one, get one free. What? Buy one, get one free. Huh? Buy one. Yeah, I get that. Get one free. Is that like a Spanish word? No, it's English. The whole thing's English. Oh, because it seems like you're saying the first part in English and then some kind of made up a uh, falum falum for something in the second part. I don't understand you. All right, l l let me try explaining it another way. Let's say we're at someone else's store and there's a sign and it says buy one, get one free. Get one free? Wow! What store are you talking about? Excuse me, I have been waiting for my prescription for 25 minutes. Oh, I'm really sorry, Miss Dumont. We'll have that fill for you right away. Guys, what the hell's going on back there? Remember, each pill has to go into the correct bottle. Eh, yeah, this ain't so hard. Wicked boner. This was a great idea, Peter. We fly this thing over Providence. It's bound to get people into the pharmacy. That's right. Bring in the city folk with their big money and their long cigarettes and their dogs with shoes. Hey, check it out. We got a giggity over there on the 32nd floor. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. <laughs> All right. Quagmire, look out! Oh, no! Jeez, that was a close one. Yeah, but at least nobody got hurt. Goldman's Pharmacy. Now that could be a good place to get new shoes for my dog. Good evening, Quahog. Grim details continue to roll in at this hour in the story of the detached airplane advertising banner, which caused a school bus to plummet into the Pawtuxet River. That's right, Joyce. Quahog's own Goldman's Pharmacy made headlines across the country after a banner of theirs caused the bus to drive off a bridge, tragically killing all the teenagers on board. Many of the students tweeted about the accident as it was happening. We have a few here. From at Jenny94, water seriously cold, yo. Here's at the Ted 69. I'm gonna survive this, LOL JK. JK indeed. Oh God, I'm ruined. Nobody's ever gonna shop in my pharmacy again. I'm gonna lose everything. Ah, gosh, Mort, I feel terrible about this. I wish there was some way we could fix it. You know, my cousin had the same problem, but he lucked out because his business burnt to the ground. The insurance made him a very rich man. <laughs> Too bad we can't just torch the pharmacy. Oh, come on. No, we can't do that. Th th that'd be like stealing from the insurance companies. It wouldn't be right. Oh, they're bastards. Last year after I lost my beloved Muriel, our life insurance company refused to pay on her policy. They took what should have been a pleasant experience and made it into an ordeal. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Yeah, come to think of it, they wouldn't even pay for the fetus Lois lost when we went to visit the Museum of Staircases and Spring-Loaded Boxing Gloves. Yeah, you know, they don't seem to pay out on anything. No, yeah, not at all, true. right? I mean, come but on. They don't pay. Well, and I say, screw the bastards. Let's burn the place down. What? Peter, we're talking about a major crime here. Th this is not smuggling Oriental women into the country in steel cans. This is a serious felony. Quagmire, this whole mess was our fault. We gotta make it right. And look, as long as nobody sees it... <laughs> 